What's the future for license plate readers here in Nashville? Well, that's a question city leaders will once again have to grapple with now that the six month pilot program for LPRs has ended. As News Channel 5's Jason Lamb tells us tonight, lawmakers have a lot of data to review before making their decision. You've seen them around town for six months. Now Metro Council will be tasked with deciding whether license plate readers, LPRs, stay or go now that the pilot period ended just days ago. We have a big decision to make about whether or not that we're going to continue to use this program, but fundamentally I'm, I'm supportive of it. Jeff Syracuse is the chair of the Metro Council Public Health and Safety Committee. He's also running for one of five council at large positions next month. Syracuse authored the legislation that would keep LPRs in place. So I thank you for this report. Uh, we, we're going to get it released to the public, but excellent work and we appreciate it. Thank you. Last month, the Community Oversight Board looked at its own analysis of Metro Police LPR data, saying LPRs were getting the most verified hits in the north part of Nashville. The COB's analysis showed a heat map of those hits, lining up with some of the poorest and most racially diverse neighborhoods in the city. In the Quadrant A, that which is a more impoverished area, um, and that there's more stops and more arrest and um, more um, vehicles recovered. Metro Police say the LPR locations were installed in areas known to be highly trafficked with high crime. Also saying more arrests were made in North Nashville because fleeing suspects would pass through multiple LPRs that were installed more closely together. Still, Syracuse says police will answer to the entire council. That is a good question that we need to get an answer to about why certain uh, LPRs are in certain areas and not put in other areas. But obviously we did hear from the police that that was the areas that the where the highest crime was. Metro Council members will take up making LPRs permanent beginning at its meeting next week with other meetings to follow. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.